given an array of integers, return the largest number that has occurred only once in this array. That's about today's video. Let's dive in. San Francisco Bay Area, or Silicon Valley. This is where my dream started. Hi everyone, this is Steve here. Today we are going through lead code problem 1133, largest unique number. Um, very easy problem. Let's uh, just quickly go through the problem description first. There are multiple ways to solve it. Given an array of integers a, return the largest integer that has uh, occurred only once. If no integer um, ever occurred only once, we'll just return minus 1. Let's go through this example. We're well, given this array, output is 8. Explanation goes like this. The maximum integer in the array is 9, but a 9 appears twice, right? So it's more than once, so 8, but so 8, 9 is not the correct answer. We're going to return the next possible, the next biggest number that has occurred only once, which is 8 in this case. And the second example is 9988. There is no such a number that has, uh, that has occurred only once in this array, so we return minus 1. That's it. Um, there are some notes here. The maximum length of this given array is only 2,000. And the um, biggest number of this, of this array's value is only up to 1,000. And these two notes actually simplify the problem. Multiple ways to approach this problem. Uh, as I said, a very general way would be we can simply build a hash map. The key of the hash map is going to be the value say 5, uh, 5, 7, 9, 4, all of these values. And the value of the hash map is going to be the frequency of these distinct values. For example, in this hash map, um, the key, one of the keys is going to be 5, 1. 1 is the frequency of this value. Uh, 5 appears only once, so the value of this entry is 1. 7, 1, 7 appears only once. 3, 2, because 3 appears twice, right? We can build a hash map. And then we traverse through this, this hash map. We compare all of the hash maps entry to whoever the entry's value is 1. And we'll, com we'll compare the key of that entry. We'll just take out uh, the max key of that entry, of all entries of this hash map. This is a very generic way so that we are not bound by, the, uh, by these two nodes. Or another way is that we can simply um, take advantage of the uh, limitations of on the nodes of this problem, we can simply use an integer array, which is going to we'll just count the frequency of each number. We'll use an integer array from 0, because the value of this integer array is um, from starting from 0 up to 1,000 only. So we only need 1,001 elements in this integer array. That's the size of this integer array. And the value of the integer array is going to be the frequency. And then after we build that integer array, we'll just traverse through this, traverse through that and find uh, backwards from the right end towards the left end. And we find any, whenever we encounter the first one's value that, that equals to zero, we'll just return. After we traverse through this entire frequency array from right to the left, so we, we didn't encounter any value that equals to um, one, we'll just return minus one. That's it. We'll just, uh, since this is a problem, let's just practice it, practice it in, in both ways. We'll go with the first um, algorithm first. Use a hash map. Map integer, integer, in, integer map new hash, hash map here. And then int num a. We'll build this hash map num map get all default num zero default is zero if we don't have anything we'll just plus one or we'll just get zero and plus one that's it and then we'll max since all of the entries in this hash map is not sorted if we want sorted we can use a tree map and uh, implement a customized comparator well we can do that too um, I'll finish this one first in max uh, which is the, um, the max value, we'll just call it minus one and return max in the end, just in case we get nothing. Int key uh, map key set. Um, if map get key 
equals to one, which means the frequency of this value is one, then we'll just uh, mass, max, max, and uh, with this key. Uh, we'll keep doing this until we finish iterating through this entire, all of the entries in this hash map. We'll just come and if it occurs only once, and then we'll compare it with the max, then return. That's it. Let's hit submit and see. All right, accept it. Another way is that we can, as I said, um, if we don't want to go through this, we can, um, a slight um, var uh, variation is we can use a tree map, uh, tree map. And we'll, tree map is sorted by key in ascending order. So, which means, but we want descending order. So we'll just uh, implement a customized comparator B minus A. So this way, um, all of the entries in this, in this tree map is going to be sorted ascending in descending order by its key. Um, that means we can just uh, go through this key. We don't need this one. We don't need that max anymore. We'll just do return minus one and say if as soon as we encounter the first key with its value to be zero, we'll just return key. That's it. Because we we are we have built this tree map in descending order by its keys of this tree map. Yeah, this is the code. Uh, let me just quickly double check if everything looks good. We initialize this tree map. Yeah, I think it looks it's looking good. Let me hit submit and see. Uh, all right, bad operator types. Okay, I think we need a, a square bracket. No, this is an angle brackets. Submit. All right, accept it. This is using tree map, a slight variation than the hash map, but basically the same thing. Then uh, we talked about two solutions. One is to use a map in the hash map or tree map. Um, the other one is that we can take advantage of the limitations of this problem. To be more specific, it applies to this problem only, um, which is we can use an integer array. Uh, basically, integer array in this case is very similar, equivalent to a hash map. But we'll use that too. Let's see. Uh, we can use and we can initialize an array. We'll call it counts a new int and the this uh, frequency integer array size is going to be 1001, right? Why? Because um, that's going to represent every single unique element of possible unique element of this given array because it's starting from zero up to 1000. So it's 1001 total distinct possible distinct elements. And then we'll just uh, go through this um, array, well, counts. And then just a num plus plus. So remember, we're using this number itself as the index. And then we'll just increment this value by one every time when we encounter it. And then after we build this array, we'll just traverse it through, um, as I said previously, on, on the right side. Go backwards. Say int i from, uh, no, from, yeah, actually from. 1000. That's the right side boundary. Greater than or equal to zero. I minus minus. So as soon as we encounter counts, I equals to one, we could just return. That's the number. That's the biggest number that has occurred only once. Otherwise, we'll just return minus one. That means we haven't found any number after we iterate through this frequency array, we haven't found any number that uh, that appears only once in this given array. We just return minus one um, based on the this problem description. That's it. That's the implementation for the second uh, for the second algorithm. Let's hit submit and see. All right, it's also accepted. It's it's actually way faster, zero millisecond. I guess based on the uh, the pool of the test cases of this problem is very limited, it's just uh, uh, the value size and, and also the array size. So this solution seems more optimal to suit, to suit this uh, problem. But anyway, um, these are the two solutions for this problem. Um, I hope you guys learned something from this. Um, if you do, 
gently tap the like button. That's going to help a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tap the little bell notification. Please, I would really appreciate it. Um, that's it for about uh, for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.